I'm um, I'm so honored to be here um, to uh, experience this with you all. But beyond that, to be able to uh, be the guy that hands it over, uh, it's a big responsibility. Joe Perry is the reason that I picked up a guitar in the first place. So uh, let's watch a video of uh, Joe Perry and why I picked up that guitar. Joe Perry is the ultimate American axe man. A player who, beginning in the 1970s, created and defined the massive guitar sound of Aerosmith. Becoming one of the premier maestros of the rock guitar. Inspired and influenced by Jeff Beck, Jimi Hendrix, Peter Green, and Jimmy Page, Joe formed the jam band with Tom Hamilton, soon joined by Steven Tyler, Brad Whitford, and Joey Kramer. Their sound and their name evolved into a rock and roll explosion known as Aerosmith. From their first blast in the mid-1970s, the band hit hard. With era-defining albums and gigantic hits, such as Dream On, Walk This Way, and Sweet Emotion, as lead guitarist and principal songwriter, has always had a central and essential role in their musical and onstage superstardom. In 1980, Joe charted his own path, touring extensively while releasing a number of albums as both The Joe Perry Project and as a solo artist. A true road warrior, Perry's iconic guitar and rock star persona was always bigger than life. At the heart of it all is his distinctive sound. Joe coaxes those licks from his favorite guitars. He has a collection of over 600. And as a guitar man, he has received one of the industry's greatest honors. Two signature edition instruments. One, two, three, five! In 1984, after a few years apart, Aerosmith reunited. Their legendary collaboration with Run DMC fused rock and rap together for the first time, launching the band to new artistic heights and popularity. And the video, I think, was the first video with black artists on MTV to be part of that. I'm proud. Ladies and gentlemen, the Aerosmith! Back together more or less forever, Aerosmith went on to record a series of multi-platinum albums and hit singles winning four Grammy Awards. And the winner is... Aerosmith! 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 And 12 MTV Video Music Awards. You are Aerosmith. You are a super duper super group that's about to rock it hardcore. Now go pop the mother off this hamburger stand. Remarkable career renaissance continued with their halftime performance at the 2001 Super Bowl and soon after their induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Among a slew of other honors, Joe and his longtime songwriting partner Stephen Tyler received ASCAP's Founders Award and were inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Aerosmith's four Grammy Awards include one for Joe's guitar-based instrumental, Boogeyman. In fact, he played everything on his first solo album except drums, leading to a Best Rock Instrumental Grammy nomination. Here to sing, I don't want to miss a thing, Aerosmith. Unbelievably, it wasn't until a quarter century into their career that Aerosmith had their first number one hit single. Years, Joe has found new musical passion with old friends Alice Cooper and Johnny Depp. Playing as the Hollywood Vampires, the group helps Joe fulfill his primary mission to keep the flame of rock and roll alive. For over four decades, that flame still burns so brightly. 
a testament to the dedication, devotion, creativity, and pure skill that continues to drive him today. Dream on indeed. Tonight is yet another dream come true. Joe Perry is a most deserving recipient of the Nam Tech Les Paul Award. Thank you. 